there have been some rumours around about Apple going portless on their next iPhone. This seems like a great idea having no cables to bother around with or not knowing which one to get and just having to use a wireless charger. But there are some big, big problems with this that you might not see at first. Wait, before continuing, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this red button just below this video. It's completely free and helps support this channel. The good thing about this is it'll solve all the hassle of you trying to plug in in the dark or even plugging it in in general sometimes and not having to decide which cable to buy if and them constantly breaking over time and all those type of problems. It could potentially have faster charging if we use wireless charging. If the phone's portless, it means it'll have less chances for water getting in, meaning it'll have better water resistance as well. Well, there's so many great things about it. So what's the problem? Well, if it was to go portless, how are you gonna plug in your headphones? You won't be able to plug them in through the lightning port either because that'll be gone. So you'll have to get wireless headphones. And what Apple will make you do is buy the AirPods. This is what their way of making you pay so much more money just so they can become richer. Not just that, by doing that, you can't even transfer data as that's a massive point for transferring data as it's a lot faster than using AirDrop or iCloud. For example, if you were to plug in an adapter so that you could plug in an SD card if you're a photographer, for example, you won't be able to because there is no port to plug it into. Previously, to back up your phone, what you do is you get MacBook, plug it in, um, save all your data onto the MacBook, and then plug it into your new phone. Whereas now you'll be having to pay for iCloud, backing it up to iCloud, and then downloading it back onto your new phone, which will cost a lot more for you as you'll have to pay for the iCloud subscription, and you'll have to have good Wi-Fi for this to be quicker. Apple have recently introduced MagSafe onto the iPhone 12. Well, basically, it's just a magnetic feature inside the phone. And one of those is a wireless charger. Now, their wireless charger costs £40 just for the charger. And that doesn't come with a power brick. So you'll have to buy a power brick on top of that if you do not already have one. So you'll have to buy that. And that's £40 for a wireless charger, which is a lot more expensive than just buying a cable. So this also shows how, much, how Apple wants to earn even more money using their own wireless chargers. So would this be a good thing? Well, for the average person who earns enough, that's probably okay. And you can always get third party wireless chargers, which are a lot cheaper. Like for example, you can get some for 10 pounds. However, it's still in my opinion, is not a good idea. Cause let's say you want to connect an adapter or even headphones, you will have to buy Bluetooth headphones, which aren't the best most of the time. Unless you want to buy AirPods, where even the AirPods Pro cost up to £250. Well, now you know that Apple might be going portless, or they might not. Well, let's just hope they don't at this point, because I don't think everyone's ready for it. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and subscribe.